Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about a new theory, well, a couple of theories to do with Reverse Flash, and potentially how he's going to end this season, and what are his, like, proper, actual, true plans for this season, because we know there's a lot more layering to what we can see on the actual surface, because, you know, he's a very manipulative villain so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any dc tv videos later this year also before we get into this i'm going to be doing a q a very soon so leave your questions in the comments below it would be really amazing if you guys could all do that maybe we can get like one whole long q a where we can just talk about anything you can talk about the flash supergirl arrow legends titans anything right that you want just ask me in the comments down below and i'll be sure to include it in the video and it can be about anything else so it could be about me it could be about films it could be about anything i don't care just put them in the comments below and i'm sure we can make a very fun q a video if you want to see that okay so let's go ahead and talk about these theories so obviously with reverse flash coming this season and with him being the surprise person that Nora was actually working with when it was revealed in the 100th episode everyone lost their shit and for the last few weeks or so we've been getting lots of teasers so we know Sherlock is very close to finding out the person who is working with Nora because he has nearly finished analyzing all those symbols so he's going to be able to translate everything that he's taken a photo of he's back on track of what he's doing and Nora doesn't know that so Nora's not going to be trying to stop him because that was a consequence of her time traveling mess up with her actually time traveling 52 flipping times which is crazy I really did like that episode and I love the concept and so yeah Sherlock is very close but Team Flash know nothing it's only Sherlock right now that is onto her and onto reverse flash but he doesn't know that right now so let's talk about these theories and these are all mainly to do with reverse flash and what his true plan is and why he wants these specific things that he keeps on mentioning so number one the countdown on the wall in the prison is not a countdown till he dies so he's not on death row he's just in prison it's a countdown until he's been administered the metahuman cure in this version of the future reverse flash is obviously behind prison bars and the metahuman cure as we saw in this last episode was perfected and it's ready to be used and maybe this is something they use in the future and so why kill Eobard Thorn? because we know he's been able to escape death many times so you know they probably know that by now so taking away his powers to make him become a human to not become a metahuman to take away the thing that defines him as a villain and as a criminal would be the worst future that he could imagine himself so could it be this could it be that this timer is until they register and administer the metahuman cure because he would just be nothing he would be exactly what he was before but he had that admiration to the flash that he you know recreated a similar circumstance to get himself those powers he seeks out Nora and promises her to find and help save Barry in the past and she will save him in return and stop him from turning into a normal human without metahuman powers and so therefore he trains her he teaches her he guides her to the past so therefore there's no time raves, she's able to actually time travel with control, normally, unlike last episode, but that was extenuating con circumstances. But, yeah, so I believe this theory is good, I really do like this, so the fact that maybe the time, the countdown is until he's not in fact killed, but administered the metahuman cure i think that would link really well to present day and what's going on with cisco I think that would give cisco's story a lot more prominence and a lot more spotlight on it and i think it needs that right now and i think that would be really interesting because imagine the reverse flash being alive but with no powers that would absolutely be the worst thing i think he would be more terrified of that than he would of actually dying because he's died so many times i don't know if this version of the flash knows that i'm pretty sure they all know that there is different versions of himself scattered throughout the timeline and you know lots of them have died in the past so i think that's a really good theory let me know what do you think of that in the comments down below but let's talk about another theory so this other theory is to do with reverse slash once again in the future so what if 
shards of Cicada's dagger are present in Reverse Flash's cell, or inside him, or inside his suit. So therefore, Nora doesn't know this, but if she completely destroys the dagger as the Reverse Flash hinted at is an imperative in the past, that's how he gets out, because, you know, in the future, if she does that in the past, takes it away, destroys it, in the future, he is not bounded by any of that, and so that's a little timeline change, but with that, that means he can escape, and they never actually catch Cicada in, in this version of the future. However, maybe as Cicada actually tries to kill the Metas, he attacks Thorn in a version, or this version of the future, prior to him being in prison. I think that is my favourite theory, and I think they could actually be doing that, because with the line in last episode, I do believe, with him saying, oh, we need to destroy Cicada's dagger, and then we'll save your father. Just too specific, and I think that's a really good idea. Let me know what do you think of it in the comments, but yeah, I think the fact that maybe Cicada attacks him, because we know Cicada wants to kill all metas, he really doesn't care, but right now he's focused on Team Flash because they keep on screwing things up, so he's like, I'm going to kill them first, and then we'll kill everyone else. So, what happens if it finally leads him down a path to meeting Thorn, and Thorn isn't able to use his powers because of Cicada's dagger, and Cicada stabs him, but Thorn somehow survives, but he has a bit of the dagger inside of him, or the fact that perhaps Cicada's dagger, you know, shatters a little bit, like maybe not the whole thing, so he can still go on killing people, but maybe they use that technology, that metatech inside his cell instead of inside of him, like if he was stabbed, say, like Cisco and his hands, and how it was sort of restricting him from using his powers. So if it was in his cell, that means if Nora actually does that and destroys the dagger in the past, that would in fact make him be able to escape, and that's how he gets out. So in both theories, they result in Thorn escaping, and I think that's what's going to be happening at the end of the season. I don't have any doubts about that. And so he returns for Crisis on Infinite Earths in Season 6. I think that is the best fireball option right now. I think that we can all agree that's probably going to happen. And so we know Thorn is a massive thing in Crisis or this version of Crisis in the newspaper for the TV show. So it's a bit different from the comics, obviously, but it's all teasing towards that. And so Thorn... In the, thir in the first theory we talked about in regards to the metahuman cure actually being the reason for the countdown, Thorn actually does help Nora save Barry, save her dad, and therefore she is erased. Which is a contrast to Thorn in the second theory, because the second theory means Thorn doesn't help Nora save her dad, he gets away, that being Thorn, and so when Cicada's dagger is destroyed, she gets betrayed, and she stays on till season 6, I'm talking about Nora here, and is a big part leading up to the crossover and in the crossover, in that she finally tries to save her dad in this sped up version of Crisis, because the newspaper says Batwoman, Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, all these different people were all there in this version of Crisis, which is supposed to be in 2024, but I believe with all the timeline changes it's going to probably happen in 2019, and it talks about Psycho Pirate and everyone, so they will all be in the crossover, so don't doubt that. And so, that's why I think this is going to be all happening in the 2019 crossover, this newspaper, what it's all been leading towards, and if Barry dies, she won't ever have existed, because this is in 2019, it's not in 2024, when Nora was born already. It wouldn't even be a version of her that existed, it would be no versions, because Barry would be dead, there would be no way of her ever existing, and therefore she would be erased. And so I think the second theory has a lot more sort of gravitas, and the idea that if she actually destroys the actual dagger, Reverse Flash gets set loose, and then, you know, crisis ensues, and maybe she stays on to season six to try and save her dad. But if that crisis continues and goes the way that it's supposed to go in the newspaper with Barry dying or disappearing, she won't have ever existed. Even if he disappears, he's never going to have that baby. So no way Nora actually exists after that, which is kind of crazy to think. So 
Let me know what do you think of all these theories, so I included two theories, one to do with the metahuman cure and maybe that is the reason for the countdown in his cell and so that's why he seeks out Nora and Nora actually helps him and in return Nora actually sets him free and then he goes off and he's fine and he returns for Crisis on Infinite Earths. And the second theory was Cicada's dagger is in either inside Reverse Flash or inside his cell so therefore he's not able to use his powers but then Nora destroys it in the past and therefore he gets out and so both theories end up in Thorn escaping at the end of the season and I believe he's going to return for season 6 for that crossover. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do want to see more theory videos please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new and share this video around because we're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers which will be insane. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully that happens very soon. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.